Assalamu alaikum. We start the electronic devices book and his first chapter is semiconductor basics. There we discuss about the chapter outline, the atomic structure, classification of matter on the basis of semiconductor theory like energy band gap theory and uh, we divide the matter into the three sub matters or three types of matters which is uh, called uh, semiconductors, conductor and insulator. Then we discuss covalent bond in the semiconductors, then conduction of semiconductor and uh, then we discuss uh, these uh, outlines of this in this chapter. First of all we discuss about uh, there we discuss about uh, atomic structure, time atom look like uh, that and uh, the nucleus is uh, made up of uh, neutron and proton while uh, electron is moving like that outer, outer side of the nucleus and then we discuss about the two atoms one for hydrogen atom second for the helium atom hydrogen atom is one electron one proton while the helium atom has two electron and two proton proton is inside the nucleus while the electron is moving outside of the nucleus then we discuss about the orbits in the orbit can be divided or known as a shell or subshells uh, shell is uh, divided into the subshells and, and first orbit is known as first orbit is known as k orbit or k shell which is denoted by k and then l then m and so on first uh, k shell has divided into the subshell which is known as, known as s shell while second shell has uh, two uh, subshell which is known as s and uh, p and third shell has s p and d s shell has only two electron space and uh, P shell has uh, 6 electron space and D shell has 10 electron space. <coughs> then we discuss about the outermost shell of the electrons that is called the valence electrons and uh, the shell is called the valence shell. Then we discuss uh, the outermost or valence shells has less ionization energy as compared to the inner shells or inner electrons. The valence and electrons can be moved from his valence shell by supply the energy from source of lights. Then it can be removed. He in this shown by in the heavier atoms as compared to the lighter atoms. In the heavier atoms, electron can be moved. Valence electron can be moved from the light source of energy and easily move from its valence shells then uh, we discuss about the excitation energy electron is when excited when uh, the external heat is splitted spread or external energy is supplied to the atoms then uh, we discuss about the ionization energy positive ions negative ion positive ionization energy is basically the electron move from its uh, outermost or valence shell is can be ionized and then uh, first uh, if uh, the electron can be ionized from his outermost shell then uh, he it become atom hole become is a positive ions uh, and the free electron can be moved to the other atoms and uh, gathered and take part into the valence electron valence shell of the other atoms then become the negative atoms or negative ions there he also represented by the example of hydrogen hydrogen leave here it's one electron and uh, become positive ion and positive on the other hand this free electron can be moved on the other hydrogen atoms which is uh, electrical neutrals and become negative ion and shown by there these uh, ionization energy and the excitation energy is known as absorption phenomena there he explained the 
electrons in their shells first shell has two electron second shell has eight eighteen and third and so on then we discuss about the classification of uh, matter on the basis of uh, thermic detector. There he gives the carbon atom examples. And this is the carbon structure. Carbon in uh, outermost shell is called valence shell. And the inner side of the valence shell is called core. Core can be divided, can be consist of nucleus and two electrons. And next uh, he can 